Hi guys, today I want to do something um, different with you. I want to make this braid with you. But uh, because the World Championship Soccer are uh, happening, I like to do that in uh, my colors of my uh, country, which is orange, red, white and blue. Uh, and this will, by the way, be the next tutorial. Uh, as you can see, I've been quite busy uh, playing with these loom bands. But, um, yes, a flag, three colors, for that you will need orange, I like these ones, and I need red, white, and blue. And I do have to say that I really don't like these things that come with it, so I'm just going to use my trusted two and a half, and um, we're going to start off with uh, red. And white and blue and the orange will come in later to connect my flag so red white and blue so if you got a country that is playing in the world championships you might like this one Now, this is like a two-parter, and I only have one loom. It will be easier if you have two looms, but I'm going to do it with one loom for all of you who just have one loom. And, uh, and I'm going to show you how to connect the first half to the second half later on. I was able to f figure that out. I haven't seen that on YouTube anywhere, um, where people connect a, a bracelet that is longer to the beginning of the second part. So I think that I'm a first, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that. So, yep. Now I'm going to do that again, but of course I'm going to move this one over. And in the red, white, and blue, and I'm just going to do three rows of that. So if you got a flag, or if you want to use other colors, then I suggest you just pause me now until you get all three uh, rows set up. Now that that's set up, I'm going to add my orange ones to keep down my other rubber bands. So I'm going to skip the first one because I need to pull that loose later on. And I'm going to put my orange around three. Like that. I'm going to do that all the way to the end. I'm not too worried about these being twisted because uh, these will figure themselves out later on. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to very simply pull that orange out of the way, pick up the blue one and go onto the next blue one. I'm going to do the first three of each of them before I do them one by one because I want to make sure that these are tied up and don't let go. Next one is the white one, and you gotta go under the orange rubber band. Don't forget to go under, don't go over, and go over the next one. You can pull it out of the way, picking up the red now, going over. Just pull that out of the way, pick it up, and go over. And just do that all the way to the end. Pull it down. If you have to, just get it out of the way so you can grab that next rubber band fairly easy. Okay, so just pause me now and do this all the way to the end. When you've gotten all the way to the end, you're just going to start again with your second row. And this actually picks up a little bit easier because that orange is not 
in the way. So just do the second row now and also do that all the way to the end. I'm getting pretty good at this, huh? I've been practicing a lot. And when row two is done, you're now going to do the last one. And again, you might want to have to pull that orange out of the way. You can just kind of pull that in. And just do this last row. Now when I got them all done, I'm going to take them off and I'm going to use another hook for that because I later on want to make sure that I got my crochet needle uh, at hand. So I'm carefully taking these off. And here I got my flag. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to attach this on this side because we need to work from the V-shape that goes inwards but we set up on the V-shape that goes outwards so now we need to figure out when we start here later on on this side um, what how we need to set up so this goes ends with red but it starts blue, white, red instead of red, white, blue. So um, we need to figure out if that is correctly because after red comes blue on this side, blue, white, and red. That would be my next sequence from this side. So I'm going to, what I, what I do is because I'm not very good at mathematics, is I'm just going to set up on the wrong side all these rubber bands just to see what I need to start with. So it's blue, white, red, all the way to the end. Blue, white, red, blue, white, red. Okay, so that basically starts with red. I'm going to turn it around and that's still red, white and blue, red, white and blue, red, white and blue, red, white and blue. So I'm just going to set up another sequence of red, white and blue. Red, but I'm going to take these off because these are set up on the wrong way. So I'm just going to put that over here. Red, white, blue, and if you have like uh, multiple numbers then of course it could be that you got a whole different uh, setup, of course when you do a flag that wouldn't be it, but if you use different colors like six or seven different colors in this pattern then uh, yeah you, you do want to make sure that your pattern is correct, right? So. You might want to work backwards and see what, what goes on there. So I'm just setting up my red, whites and blues again and I'm going to do three rows of those on both sides. Now I also added my orange bands and I'm going to turn it around and this is the tricky part. You need to get up Get the red one, the first one, get that on there. Okay, now you need your orange band, put that on there and get the next red over that orange band, like that. The next red also goes on the next one. Then you take your orange band, pull that over and then the next red one also goes on there. Get that out. Then the next red goes on there. 
just one. And this is why I got my crochet needle. You need to now pick up that orange. Might be a little hard. Just pick up that orange and pull that over that last one right here. And then put the last red on there. Yay! And now you're all set up to do your second row. So, pull that out, pick up that blue, and do that first one. Pick up this blue, do that first one, pick up this blue, and do that first one. And now you can just let go and continue pulling down, doing that second session like you did the first one. So I suggest you finish all the way up until you are able to get the rubber bands at the end off. And then you'll have two of these and it will probably be long enough and then we're going to add the clasp. Okay, I got that all done now. And I'm picking up this one again. I just want to make sure I got, the, got them all on there. And I'm going to pull it off. And there we have it. The Dutch flag. Right now I'm going to add the clasps. So, I'm going to start with the first clasp. And basically this is what you're going to do with all of them. I'm going to put the first rubber bands on there. And I'm getting myself a clasp. And it doesn't matter if you have like these S ones or if you have these C ones. Basically everything works the same. I like the S ones though, I have to say that. I'm going to pull this, I'm going to grab these two, take that off. And now that needs to be connected to, I want these blues. So I'm going to put the blues on there. And I'm later on going to cut that other one out of there. So. Pull that up, get two, take that off. And now you're just going to add the second clasp by just adding these second ones on there with another S clasp. Taking that off, grabbing these other two blues. Oops, I'm gonna make sure I grab the white ones. These two blues. S. And the last two blues. Now that I got the last two blues, I can take this one that's loose, I can cut it off. Get it out of there. You gotta be careful though that you don't uh, grab the one wrong. Get the blues in there. on there and attach that last one and here's my bracelet and these are the colors of my flag and maybe you made them in your flag flag colors uh, I hope you like this tutorial and see you on the next tutorial bye guys